course, all of the drummer series instruments here for contact come with a bunch of grooves, which are indeed MIDI. Now, as I've already covered in the definitive guide, we already know we can drag MIDI out of things like BFD3 or Slate or whatever, right? Into, in our case, in Pro Tools, of course, as I've already covered, that's going to depend on the key map we're using, right? And of course, the key map in here as well, whatever we have it, you know, set to. And of course, we can play with MIDI as such, right? Okay, get rid of that. So we already know that. And you probably already know that you could, of course, use your drummer series, all of them, by the way, not just Studio Drummer, but of course, any of the Abbey Road series, you know, as well. So obviously, at least should be obvious, you can grab any sort of MIDI that you happen to have. So here's a bunch of MIDI I have from itmightgetloud.org. And these are all going to be uh, mapped to, I believe, general MIDI, they should be. You can, of course, drag in any MIDI that you have, right? Make sure the map is set up correctly. General MIDI in this case. You can play your drummer series. Right. As such. But what I want to focus on in this video is we know that the drummer series comes with a bunch of grooves. We can come in here and, of course, go through our grooves and play them right within our instrument here, right? All right, and then drag it out. We can uh, affect things with our tightness and our swing velocity and tempo, right? But did you know you can import more MIDI into your Groove browser? And this might be helpful to those who use, say, a lot of Studio Drummer, for example, and you want to try all of your MIDI within Studio Drummer or one of the Abbey Road uh, series of drummers, right? So to access that, all you need to do is head to wherever you have your instruments installed to. In my case, it's here in Native Instruments. And right now we're going to use Studio Drummer. Okay. So come down to Studio Drummer up here to MIDI files. You can see that in our grooves here, put the side by side, that 1 to 11, that's how everything is listed. If we pop into the actual folder, you can see that uh, as well. So if you want to use other MIDI in here, all you have to do is drag it in to this folder. I could come down here and drag in individual, you know, MIDI files. I don't actually want to move this because uh, I want to copy it in this case, copy those here. So that's individual MIDI in this case. We could also drag in a full folder. So I'll just, again, I'm going to make sure I copy this here because I don't want to actually move it. Just copy that here. Now what I might want to do is put a, in this case, a 12 in front of that. Okay. And I put that again right in the Studio Drummer MIDI files folder, all right? Back in here now, you don't see anything, right? Well, at least in Pro Tools, all you need to do is close down contact, not actually close it, but more, more minimize it, right? Just so it's not on screen. Open it back up, and boom, look at that. Here's those individual MIDI files. Double click, loads it right up here, right? We can play that back now. Okay, and then here's the folder right there. Now, of course, these are structured differently. This is a folder inside a folder and then the actual, you know, the actual MIDI right there. But in this case, we have it right here. You could, of course, structure these uh, folders here however you want. I might want to make a folder just called It Might Get Loud. And then I could come in here and grab all of these and put them all in one folder, right? And then there would be another folder inside, you know, inside of those, okay? That's all you have to do, but right here, and the 12 that we named, now we have the MIDI, and play it directly within any of our drummer instruments. Hit play here, and there you go. Switch through. And then of course we could do things like apply our tightness, with our grid and our swing and our velocity and tempo, right? And do all that stuff here. So if I drag this one out right here, you can see how long that is there. If I times two that one, drag it in here, move this out of the way, squeeze this down. You can see how it's been affected. I already have the Abbey Road 80s drummer loaded up here. 
Okay. We can do the same thing with 80s drummer, 70s drummer, you know, vintage drummer, any of these here that you uh, want to, right? You could even, if you wanted to, right, come back here. We're in my native instruments folder where all my stuff is installed to. And this is the 80s drummer, right? So here's 80s drummer. Here's my MIDI files right there. Now, this is a bit different. If I just drag something in, you know, like say punk rock or something, uh, copy that here. For example, if I just drag in a single MIDI file right here, again, close this down, open it up, and look down here. It's not showing up, right? Okay. So another thing you could do, make sure we get rid of those two. Just get rid of those. Head into the folder. And this time, I might want to create a folder. Just call it 06. I'll call it It Might Get Loud. And then I'll come down here to It Might Get Loud MIDI, all of my MIDI here. Pop into that folder. Just grab all of these folders here. And I can drag everything in. Copy it here. Then, again, look at the structure here. We went into the black kit. Okay, so MIDI files. This time we went into the black kit. We added 06 in here. All right. Close this down again. Open it up again. Come down here, over here, and guess what? Boom, right there. Now we have a new folder here with our subfolders right here, then another folder right here, and there is our MIDI, okay? I can load that up in here, of course. Go ahead and play it. It's our velocity, swing. All that stuff, and of course, drag it out from within here if I want, instead of dragging it in from, you know, the actual folders here. So just something to consider actually importing more MIDI right into all of your drummer series instruments.